Okay. Uh, number six, how do you graph um, x equals five in slope intercept form? Okay. Um, how do you So it's asking us, how do you graph, uh, how do you graph x equals five in slope intercept form? So I'm going to draw, I'm going to sketch this graph for you here. And what we have here is we have, um, we have x equals five, right? So if we look at our table here, um, we remember uh, this here is our x-axis and this here is our y-axis, right? And we have x equals five. x equals five means I have to go, I'm counting from, this is positive one, this here is two three, four, and five here. So I have my first point is going to be here. And this here is actually going to be a vertical line. So I'm basically going to draw a vertical line from here, uh, passing through, uh, oh, can I pass through the point here? Yeah, something like that. Um, it's going to equal kind of this point here, uh, x equals x equals five. My line, my, my line's not perfectly straight, but this here is y equal or x equals five. And we know that this exists because at every point, x is going to equal 5. The y value does not matter. There's no y value, y value here, right? Again, this is just simply one variable, and I have, uh, uh, it's just simply x equals 5. So at every y here, it doesn't matter, it's not independent of y. x equal, will equal 5 for basically every y value here. So there's no uh, y value, so every point, it's going to be x equals 5. So it's always going to fall between this line here. So I mean, maybe I'll draw an arrow here. So it doesn't matter about my y value. So it doesn't matter if my y value is one or three or something like that. It's always going to equal five here. So it makes a vertical line here. Uh, when we're talking about slope intercept form also, we can see here that we have an x intercept here equals five, right? It hits the x intercept at x equals five or intercepts the x, x intercept at x equals, x equals five. And if we we're talking about our slope here, so let me write this down here for you. So this here, the x intercept would be at x equals five here. So it hits the x-intersect at x equals five. Uh, is five. And then our slope here, well, our slope of this vertical line here, we know that the slope here is equal to rise over run, right? But again, if we have a vertical slope here, this here slope is 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 pretty much undefined, right? We don't know, we can't figure out the, the, the rise over run of this guy here because it's a vertical line. So slope here is undefined. Or you can say that it's 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 infinite. You can say, um, but I would use the word undefined. I wouldn't use it has an infinite slope just because infinite slope doesn't mean anything here. Um, a vertical line just means that it has an undefined slope. I would probably use that word uh, better. It's a better. It's a lot better to use that word than to say that this here is undefined. Slope here is undefined because it's a vertical line here. So that's all for x equals five in slope intercept step form. Again, they use Desmos, which is actually perfect. I would use Desmos as well to show this as well. But x equals five is indeed a vertical line with no values and every value of x at every point here is five here. So the solution here is correct.